Praise the Lord this morning. We thank God for another Sunday morning. We're coming live at the Unity Fellowship Baptist Church, pastored by Pastor Orlando D. Franklin. And we come to praise the Lord this morning. We give God praise for all He is, all He has done, and what He's doing even now. Amen. And we just ask that you would lend your voices with us as we give God glory on this Sunday morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. I love you. I love you. I love you, Lord, today. Because you cared for me in such a special way. That's why I praise you. I lift you up. Give your name the honor, the glory in Jesus. 
Jesus name we say thank you Amen
you've been already, some of you have mailed in your obligations. Or as we speak, some of you are driving through right now. And we thank you because the church is still in session. Want to honor God for the presence and personality of my good friend, Pastor Payne. And we also have in the building with us this morning, he was here last week, happy to see Pastor Brown here with us. I want to invite you while you're at home to Luke chapter 19. Father, Father, I, I, I stretch, I stretch my hand to Teacher, 
rebuke your disciples. Hush your disciples. Silence your disciples. He answered, I tell you, if these were silent, the very stones would cry out. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd, verse 39, said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. Jesus said unto them, I tell you, if these were the hush, the rocks would cry out. And I want to lift by way of conversation. Why are you in the crowd? Why are you in the crowd? I am no doctor. I am no medical expert. I am no, no nurse. I'm no scientist. I'm no biologist. I am no chemist. My Lord. But the good news, although I am none of these things, or none of these persons, uh -huh. I do know who I am. Say that, Pastor. Say it. I know who I am and I know who I am following. All right. mm -hmm. My God. As I look at our world, I'm heartbroken for many different reasons. And I look at our world and I see within our world so many different things that's going on that no man had the answer to. And so even when the foundations are shifting or being destroyed, the psalmist asks, what shall the righteous do? Yes, yes, sir. Well, I will say that I am sticking with Jesus. Yes, sir. And I am sticking with Jesus all the way. But I have a question, and if you were present, and although you're not, I'll yet ask it. Why are you in the crowd? Why are you in the crowd professing a Christ that you would forget about in the crisis? He is just as much God today as he was this time a month or two ago. Preach, yes. He doesn't lose his goodness and he doesn't lose his godness. Things may catch us off guard yeah. mm -hmm. but they never catch God off being God. Come on, yes, sir. And so I would ask why are you in the crowd? Well, if I had to give you an answer, it would be I'm in the crowd because I believe in the Christ of the crowd. Come on, mm -hmm. yeah. And so the question is what crowd? Not the Costco crowd going to buy all the tissue and toilet paper and paper towel. Not the Walmart crowd, not the Home Depot crowd, not the Dollar General crowd, not the crowd seeking convenience and luxury. But are you in the crowd that's willing to take a stand for Jesus even when we're facing a time like this? And we are most definitely facing a difficult time. Yes, 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 sir. Here we are on this day in observance of Palm Sunday. When Jesus rode into Jerusalem. Rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. Yes, yes, sir. 
And although he rode in Jerusalem on a donkey, and there was a massive crowd of people, the crowd met, or this Palm Sunday event meant different things for different people. Yes. See, people can be in the same crowd, but not with the same intention. And so for Jesus, it signified his official presentation to the nation as king and Messiah. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Although he knew he would be rejected and crucified, yes. others in the crowd saw the triumphal entry in political terms. Yes. They saw Jesus for what they could get. They saw Jesus for what they could gain because of what Jesus could do on them. Oh, mm -hmm. But I'm glad I don't just serve him for what he can do. Yes, sir. But I serve him for being who he is. Yeah. They were happy because of his miracles. Mm -hmm. They hoped that Jesus would lead a revolt against Rome and restore independence to Israel and the Jewish leaders were frustrated according to John chapter 11 verse 48 they were frustrated by the acclaim Jesus was receiving yes. because he threatened their power base sadly to report his disciples didn't even really know why they were in the crowd because less then a week later, uh -huh. one of them betrayed him. Another one denied him. And his followers were scattered yeah. and confused. Oh. They were so confused at their fellowship that they became as many people in our local churches. Yes, sir. They became and when you are confused and when you are driven about it, when you are tossed about from the wrong source, it will cause you to become fickle. That's why people are so easy to leave from church to church and get angry from pastor to pastor and get upset and walk off not just from church, but some get so mad they walk off from God. Preach, preach. And so the crowd was so fickle that they changed from shouts of Hosanna to crucify him. Don't expect faithfulness from fickle people in confused crowds. My, my, my. And so why? What happened? Why the failure? Why the change? Well, they had the wrong concept of who Jesus was. Yes, sir. That's why they fell away from Christ in time of difficulties. Yes, sir. And if we want and profess faith, we got to endure hardness. Yes. We got to endure hardships. Although we are where we are right now, separated, social distancing ourselves, we still have to learn that even in a time like this, yeah, yes, sir. Christ still remains on the throne. Amen. And we cannot let anything shake our faith. Luke aspect of this triumphal entry gives us so many reasons to follow Jesus. And so if I had to uh, do some form of encouragement, might I say that I am, I would say these words, stick with Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Through adversity, through hardness, through good days, yes. through bad days, stick with Jesus. Yes, Lord. And let me say this, to have faith that preserves 
you need to understand that Jesus is the sovereign Lord of authority. Yes, yes. So on Palm Sunday, I don't want to bore you with my feeble presentation. Preach. On Palm Sunday, Jesus staged a public demonstration to show the people and rulers that he is the Messiah but not the kind they were expecting. Mm -hmm. He showed his power over creation. Therefore, he rode in on a donkey. All right, sir. He rode in on a colt. He, he demonstrated his power over creation. The donkey had never been rolled by man, but even the donkey had sense enough to submit to the command of the Savior. Yeah, that's that. Jesus assigned his disciples to go and seek the donkey that was tied. And he said to them that if anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Yeah. Why are you unloosing it? Oh, Tell them the master had need of this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a word for you this morning. Yes, Lord. Even though you are social distancing, Preach, the master still have need of thee. Yes, yes, sir. So in Jerusalem, Jesus would now finish what he had come to do. It was the final week of his earthly life. Jesus didn't come to live, but he came to die. So that we could live. Yes, yes. People shouted and the crowd shook. And the Pharisees are getting upset now because they feel that the crowd is too noisy. Not and they say to Jesus, Jesus, make these people hush. And Jesus says to them, that these be quiet. Yes. The rocks will cry out. Yes. So in this chapter, prophecy is being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Chapter 19, there was reply, recognition, yes. ridicule, rejection, but most of all, there was rejoicing. Mm -hmm. The reply, verse 30 and 32, the disciples uh, respecting him so much they obeyed his request. Yes. And then not only did the disciples respect him, but the owners of the cult, according to verse 33 through 35, the owners of the cult replied by yielding at the command of Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you know why you're in his crowd, and when you are in the crowd for the right reason, you can yield to whatever the request of the Savior is, even when it's not convenient for you. Yes, sir. And so they, there was a reply and there was recognition. Because verse 37 and 38, the, pro, the crowd praised God for all the mighty works they had seen. Yes. They knew Jesus had power to do anything. And let me say this, Jesus didn't used to have power. Come on. Come he on. still got power. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I said, he still got power. Right. Yes. And so there's reply in this text. There is recognition in this text. But verse 39, there is ridicule in this text. The Pharisees from the multitude said unto him, Master, rebuke Thy disciples. Yes, yes. See, the religious authorities were hostile. Yeah. They had already given the word to hunt Jesus down and to arrest him in John chapter 11 and verse 57. That's right. And so despite this threat, Jesus publicly, triumphantly enters into Jerusalem. Yeah. He got power. Yes, sir. So there is reply, there is recognition, there is ridicule, but now here come rejection. The A clause 
of verse 40, they complain mm. that Jesus' followers were making too much ruckus and they needed to be restrained. Yeah. Sound like people in church. At least they used to before we got so we couldn't be together. Yes, sir. Some would say they don't take all of that. Reach now. Well, when all this is over, I believe the church is going to be louder than ever before. I believe the church is going to be recognized as a group of people, or shall I say, a crowd of people who have literally demonstrated pure faith throughout the process that seemed to be so painful. In this, God will still get the glory. So there's reply, there is recognition, there is ridicule, there is rejection, but thank God, there is rejoicing. Glory. Because the B clause of verse 40, Jesus told the Pharisees that in the event of silence from the servants, yes. the stones will substitute for them with their shouts. In other words, if the people be quiet, mm -hmm. then the rocks will cry. Yes, sir. Well, I don't need any rock to cry out in my place. God has been too good. Yes, sir. God has brought me too far. So I have no reason but to rejoice. And I don't know, I don't know what he's done for you out there in Facebook land or YouTube world, wherever. You may see this recording, yes. mm -hmm. but I can say that I don't need any rocks crying out in my place. My so I'm in the right crowd, yes. and I know why I'm in the crowd. I'm in the crowd because I believe in the Christ of the crowd. I'm in the crowd because I believe that those who are in the crowd will have a final resting place when this has all ended. This world is not our home. We're just strangers. We can't feel comfortable in this world. Too much is going on in this world. Yes. But thank God, the leader of the crowd yes. has been my everything. Yes. I said the leader of this crowd right. that I'm following has been my everything. He's been my protection. He's been my peace. He's been my wisdom. He's been my anchor. He's been my confidence. He's been my trust. He's been my hope. He's been my authority. He's been my Lord. He's been my God. He's been my deliverer. Uh -huh. And so I know why I am in the crowd. Yes, so I will encourage you today that no matter what adversities we may face, yes. mm -hmm. let us make this decision together that through it all, we're going to stick with Jesus. Yes, sir. And we're going to stick with him. For the rest of our lives. Shall we have a word of prayer? My God. Oh God, we thank you. Mm -hmm. We thank you for the word today. We thank you for being who you are. Yes, sir. Even in the face of adversity, we trust you. We're leaning on you. And we are depending on you. You're God. And you're God alone. Bless the members of unity. Bless our visitors. Bless every person that's watching. Bless every person that will watch. In the name of Jesus, as we face adversities, we will remain in that crowd that believe in you and believe in your authority. You're God and you're God alone. Bless every family. Bless every father, every mother that's out there wondering what tomorrow will hold. Bless us, Jesus.